Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Juventus Academy to talk to our big bro, Koju Asama. Sheldon, mm -hmm. what do they like about Koju as they play football? Mm -hmm. The ability to play different positions. Okay. That's why he was contest man. With your mm. Could you? Is that why you're asking me about Kote in the office today? Yes, yes, 100%. Ah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Could you? Thanks for having us, Rigbo. Yeah. 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 Thanks for coming. Everything yeah. is fine. You know one thing, I've never seen him done an interview or since like since he started playing football yeah. from the day he started to the day he retired i never see see he get any problem like okay just some in the news like controversy nothing yeah, so, so calm. yes is it like a calculated attempt just not to be that kind of guy you you just had this kind of persona that i'm just could just i want to play football and just go and sleep so that has always been me it's from yeah. childhood oh, okay so let's see uh i'm the person that Likes to please be, can you break uh -huh. that likes to be in, in, in private spaces okay you know i don't want to be out there okay and mostly with my work me personally i prefer uh doing it well okay mm. you know than to be out there and then be talking about it okay so yeah. you want a actions action yes action. okay. all right training and match is right. very important so okay. can i talk you about kuda someone no i take you back to your days in kumasi as quite a potivo so you know say he was discovered as a, a, a goalkeeper <laughs> so this is the story. Yeah, what happened? This is the story. I get to know. I was a good yeah, no, story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so he he went out to play football randomly. Okay. Then he went to play with boys, but they go play ball. Okay. Where they say Kojo, Kona Kochi. Kona Kochi. Go and catch. Okay. And the coach that discovered him, Coach Kamarat, just ah, this guy's kicks and I like it. Okay. And he kicks over going straight to his teammates. Mm -hmm. And that was it for Kojo. Okay. That was it for Kojo. But do you still have the keep, goalkeeping um, instinct? Where yeah, I still have it. You oh, still have yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. okay, look, people have always complained that we have a, as a country, we have a problem with goalkeeping okay. when it comes to let's go to tournament and uh, do you Do you buy into that conversation? Uh, I don't think so. Because okay. Ghana, we've been always okay. having good goalkeepers. Okay. Even from back then, when okay. I played with Ole Le, oh, Samir, yeah, 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 Samir Jay, uh -huh. and then... Uh, uh -huh. Even most of the goalkeepers I played from the national under 20 and 23. Okay. Yeah, I think we've had a very good goalkeepers. Okay. Probably our main focus are more on the players. The players. Yeah. So okay. that's the difficulties that I think we have for, okay. for our keepers. You know, we don't really pay much attention to them. Okay. Yeah. But could I still contact with Coach Kamara? Yes. Do you have plans for bringing him to help you here? Uh, have you thought of that yet? Because he really helped you to propel you to the next level. So. What do you think about that? Okay, I mostly talk to him, mm. okay. and then he he's doing so well. Honestly, he mm. have his own mm. academy, mm. and he's also planning on building something uh, a facility okay. Okay. Uh, wow. for for the boys in Kumasi. Okay. So looking at someone that has been in football for almost uh, from twenty five to thirty yeah. years, yeah. So mm. he is doing something great, and then what we are doing here mm. is not just for uh, my manager okay. Kamaraz. It's good. for all Everyone. the people in yes. Ghana. Mm. Okay. Uh, he is doing his best. He is doing his own, mm. and we are here to to do our do best our and then encourage to push the boys that are here. doing well there, so mm. we can promote them. Okay. Mm. So could you after retirement? I was did you realize that okay, let me do this and do it well. Let me go fully focused on uh, doing this project for for Ghanaians. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I might say when I'm doing something, uh -huh. I always put my best, even when I was playing. Okay. okay. Yeah. That was what helped me in my career, mm -hmm. we, you know, even with the players, with the with the coaches that I, I work with, mm -hmm. they know I'm someone, when I'm doing something, mm -hmm. I want to do from my heart. From heart yeah. It got to a time, even training, uh, doing injuries and all that, mm -hmm. they know I'm in pain, but I still want to. Mm -hmm. Unless maybe they get to see the, the situation and mm -hmm. they will tell you, Kojo, just try and go and rest and then get yourself ready for the next game. game. Mm -hmm. So I'm someone that I always want to put my best in everything that I do. Mm -hmm. So when I came back, I saw we a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And first, what I saw is football is not the same as before. Yeah, okay. True. A lot have changed. Mm -hmm. But we are not doing our best to also change, especially here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, football can be everywhere. Talent can be anywhere 100%. now it doesn't have to be uh, uh let's say back then players that can play for uh, as a professional player yeah. the mentality we have here in ghana is when you are from maybe a background that you know that's not strong yeah and then what about a kid that is so talented from a good home right. and wants to play football yeah, yeah. Okay. how do they get to play okay. you know a lot of people are struggling to you know 
uh, uh, allow their kids to have that opportunity because mm. they feel like, where can I allow my son to go and train? Yes. Mm. They feel like they are not in a safe environment. Yes. Mm. And this is a situation whereby we have to combine the two, okay. you know, so yeah. that those that want, want to learn, yeah. those that have the talent, mm. we can be able to help all, all of them. Yeah. Mm. I've experienced so many things in my mm. career. In Europe, mm. it's, it's more not about the talent, it's about how you are disciplined on the field, how you, willing you are mm. to make it okay. in your career. That's mm. why uh, if you get to see the European people or the foreign people, mm. they start to put their kids from at the age of three years. That's it's not like they know he's talented. They mm. know they want them to play football. Okay. So they put them in academies mm. and train them, them yes. train them, and then you be, they become footballers. Okay. okay. So let me ask you, are the parents being supportive? Because if I take you as an example, your dad wasn't a so support but your mom was pushing you to to do it and do it and do it well mm. so are the parents of this kids being supportive so far with my dad made a correction there okay my dad used to support me a lot mm. okay my mom also used to support me but okay. my mom was more on the working side okay my dad was the one that used to follow me around it got to a time when he follows me and then i when i when i come back home he'll be making some corrections of my training or probably okay. and i didn't like it okay. oh, but yeah. all okay. the time he was mm. he was he was present okay. during my training time mm. during matches time mm. so uh, you know all those uh, kind of experiences that i passed through you know sometimes the parents the support that you give your son encourages them to, to do, do more yeah. you know when they are doing it and they don't have that support it, it, sometimes they feel this courage, mm. you know, they need someone that can push them, someone that can tell them, okay, you can do it. Mm. Yeah. So let's talk about discipline. Um, recently there was a video out where an academy owner yeah. went to the place that they do their training, and he was talking to them. I mean, he was basically talking about discipline, the fact that some of these players are not disciplined. So he had to, you know, subject them to punishment where they had to roll on the floor and whatnot. <laughs> when it comes to discipline, yeah. these are young people, green, like, they, they are just hungry to play football and the, the discipline side, you are supposed to be that figure that they will look up to, that you will rectify and correct them. Yeah. How do you go about discipline when it comes to, you know, taking care of all these, uh, you know, people, because they look up to you as an inspirational figure. What are some of the things that, you know, you, because someone will let them roll on the floor. I'm not sure that is your method, <laughs> but how do you do some of these things? I think that one has to do more with our culture. Okay. You know? yeah. okay. In Europe, sometimes, you know, the coach will tell you to do it, but in a fun way. Oh, okay. You guys, okay, everyone on the floor, floor okay. just roll, mm. you know, in a kind of... But you know we are we are we are different people. Mm. We have uh, different ways of grooming our, our people. Yeah. You know. But talking about discipline, it's yes. not just about you seeing someone and say hello, hey boss. No. Okay. Football is a whole lot of things. Okay. Being disciplined is even how you eat. Okay. How the time you get to wake up to train. So. Things that you are not supposed to do. Mm. So it comes with a whole lot of things. Mm. It's not easy. So being disciplined is a whole lot of things. Mm. It's, just, it's not just about mm. you uh, 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 saying uh, good morning, say, or good uh, yeah. morning, madam, makes you uh, disciplined. Okay. It has a lot. Mm. And then with my experience, as, as I said, mm. because of the discipline, it has taken me so far mm. in my career, mm. uh, whereby uh, I have never had any issues with any player or any yeah. coaches before. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you you know you face a lot of challenges yeah. being an African player. Mm. So many things, you know, even your colleagues or someone outside will say to you, if you don't take your time, you might react. When you do it, it comes back to you to because you. they won't protect you. Yeah. But they will feel like you're arrogant, you you oh, are, okay. you are you are you are you are you are not being trained well. Okay. But everyone have their own emotions. Me, I can take it. Someone cannot, cannot take, take it. it yeah. You know, so it's all about how you control yourself, mm. the discipline. Mm. You know, some people will not take it easy. Maybe mm. I might insult you, might take it easy. You yeah. might not respond. Yeah. Someone minds. Mm. Mm. But all I can say is always we need to take our time and then mm. uh, probably listen, think about whatever that we have to do so that we don't regret yeah. later. So Juventus Academy, two sides, right? We have the part when I, I remember when you people yeah. wrote it up for people to know the publicity and everything. Yeah. Then the amount of money you guys were taking it came out. Yeah. And Ghanaians overreacted. Yeah. We were part of the people that believed 
an amount of money like that is exorbitant for the yeah. kind of people you are targeting. Then we got to know that it's not just about people paying. Yeah. There is a grassroots aspect of this thing where you go to the, yeah. you know, scout. the villages and scout and bring them here. So the dichotomy, yeah, draw it for me. <laughs> we have people paying and we have people actually, you are going out there to scout people, to train them. How the disparity for here, they work. Okay, uh, as I said earlier on, mm -hmm. let me go back to when I said, yeah. football is not just for back then, like what we used to The think, poor people. The poor people, yeah. the street boys. Yeah. Were, now it's not like that anymore. Mm, mm. As I said, football is not just about talent. Mm. You know, people know the vision. They yeah. want their kids, mm. or maybe there's someone from a good home who wants to play football. Yeah. Mm. How does it make for that person to be a footballer? Yeah. They get to learn. Okay. You can learn to become a footballer. Mm. You can learn and train harder to become a footballer. Someone okay. might have the talent. So it's not about talent alone. It's not you can train alone. someone, no, no, no. someone like me. Yeah. yeah. Me, to but be a keeper. You. You. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you bro, go, you, go you say they can train, oh, yeah. so maybe yeah. I can try. Yeah. Mm. Just at the age, you know. That's so something. the thing is, <laughs> problem. Are, it's depending on the kid. Okay. How determined okay. the player is. Mm. Because all these guys that you see here yeah. are the talents that we've scouted. Okay. Keep From the grassroots. From the grassroots. Mm. They don't pay anything. Okay. We are enrolling them. And then even them, it's not guaranteed everyone will be a footballer. Mm. Okay. I'm not saying because me, all of them will become footballers. Mm. I'm the most happiest person. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, there is someone who is going to enroll his son mm -hmm. and he will become a footballer because of the discipline, because he is well determined. Mm. So it's not just about you having the talent. Mm. And then these are the things sometimes we have to educate ourselves. Mm. I've seen it over there. Me, I played as a f professional footballer. Yeah. Juventus, Inter, Udinese. When I had my son, mm. I enrolled him at uh, the academies. The and Juventus not, Academy? Yes, and it wasn't because I was a player over there. I paid. You paid? Oh, okay. Because my son wow. wasn't talented. You paid for your son to enroll at yeah, Juventus because Academy? Because playing. I want wow. him to play football. Oh, it's okay. Like so it's not free at Nancy BB. No. So they have players that Juventus or Inter or any academies they have in the world, mm. they have their scout mm. that scout individual talent, mm. bring them in, okay. but they still have the pay, pay, play role that they mix them together. Mm. So those ones are like scholarship. They bring the kid and their family to live in the city okay. and they get to have a doctor or maybe uh, the mom or the parents will be driving the kid to training True. because he's not yet 18 okay. years. Okay. So these are the things that you know we don't uh, know much in Africa. We okay. all always depend on the talent. Mm. The talent is something that we are doing also to help mm. because we need to accommodate them. The accommodation that we need to have for them mm. uh, 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 in terms of their eating, mm. in terms of uh, enrolling them in classes, school yeah. and all that. Mm. Because we have uh, four classes, changing rooms here. We have places whereby they will be watching um, their matches mm. after games. We need to educate them oh, about okay. their mistakes. Mm. So all these things that we are doing here, we want them to pass through. Because with my experience, as I always, I always use myself because I've been there. So I know when I'm talking, I'm, I'm using myself as an, as an example. example yeah. When I had the opportunity to be in Europe, I struggled because there are a lot of things that are being done here. I didn't get to learn from Ghana. Okay. When I went there, it was like very new to me. New culture. Mm. So everything. it took a year or two for me to adapt mm. to the training. Sometimes you have to stay. Did it affect performance? Yes, because there are things that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, all we know is position. We just put you at two, three as a midfielder and then nothing. But football does, it's not just about that. If yeah. you understand football, even on the field, it's something that they practice. So during the game, you know, okay, we are playing this formation. Whatever the goalkeeper have, ha, has a ball, mm. you as a player, as a midfielder, as a defender, as a striker, you should know where to stand because you, that's why we train every week to prepare for games. Okay. And these things are things that we don't do here in Ghana. Mm. Even those small um, passes that we do on, in training, mm. positioning, how to uh, position yourself mm. in terms of defending and when attacking. Mm. These are things that we don't learn. So when you get the opportunity to be in Europe, you get to lose about one or two years 
that might you, you know help you in your career you will lose it just to restart again because you will have to learn oh okay. wow yeah. let's talk about formal education yeah there's this perception in ghana that Ghanaian football don't like going to school so with them here they'll be rolling in formal education they'll be going to school yes how are you going to ensure that they take their schooling serious uh -huh. With, uh -huh. yeah that one mm -hmm. you know I, <laughs> it's <laughs> difficult because <laughs> For, the thing is, sometimes you can't blame them. Okay. okay. You can't blame them. Mm. Football is not easy. Mm. Trust me. Okay. Training and going School. to class, learning, sometimes it's so difficult. Mm. That's why some players, at their certain level of education, mm. they just quit. Quit, and then okay. They focus on them because you can't combine the two. Yeah. But it's so important at the same time for a player to be able to read, to understand. Yeah. Mm. In future, if there is any contract, you have a manager, but you as a player should be to able understand. to go through to understand whatever that you are mm. signing for. Mm. There are so many incidents, occasions whereby players um, um, retire and come back home and then complain about not having their money. Yeah. They will be treated by an agent yeah. or a, a club. Mm. So if you as a player, you, you know how to read, you know how to make your calculations and all that mm. it, it helps you as a person 100%. and even after your career and then you still want to do something you can still do something with your certificate mm. so it is something that we are going to force them they, they wouldn't like it but we have, have to, to force I them like to that. do it I like mm. that. one thing to I, I mean football when it comes to food what people are going to say say the men uh, we pay m uh, more attention or much attention to the men. Your academy has a side where they bring in female footballers yeah. so it's not about only male footballers. No, okay, no. walk me through that. Um, so, so far, uh, me, what makes me happy even now when I see the girls joining, mm. it makes, there are two girls that we scouted uh, two weeks ago. Okay. And for me, one was super good. Okay. One wasn't the best, but I still want to see them in row because we get to build their confidence. Okay. We want to set an example for other females that want to play football. Mm. Okay. Because looking at football now even for the females mm. it has really changed it has developed mm. so this is a situation whereby we want to encourage all of them to be able mm. uh, to achieve what they want to you know mm. we all have dreams we mm. all have things that we want to do mm. it doesn't it doesn't mm. depend on which gender you are mm. we have to support each other so okay. at least they can also be happy i have a question mm -hmm. if in case you they, you bring the kids here yeah. they go through the the academy process and whatnot and it is time for you to do your selection for those that may not make it to the next stage of how do you break the news to them and how do they take it and how do you make sure say even after the academy if you don't qualify to anything at the end of the day you, it doesn't affect you mentally because mental health be some if i come and train here for one month and you tell me that you are not i don't have a buyer <laughs> media we will fight too <laughs> yeah. media we will fight <laughs> yes so how do you break such news to like them say oh you know, you don't have the talent because you have a technical eye to know yeah. this one is not it, this one is yeah. it. How do you break the news to them? It's difficult because mm. me myself have experienced it. Mm. But then you go for trial, you go for um, like you know someone who uh, probably get to know someone in the club mm. and be like, okay, this boy is really good. Mm. I want him to come and train me with mm. the team. You will go, and then the coach wouldn't even. They no go spy your face. <laughs> for ten minutes, you know. We, so I've been through that situation, mm. and I always say, sometimes it, it, we don't understand God. You know, it, with my mm. career, how it happened. I went to so many places. Mm. I went to Azakes. I went to National Under Seventeen, and I was being rejected. And I, I it doesn't. Those things didn't discourage me. I was still pushing. I was still yeah. doing it. Mm. And I was thinking. Sometimes I, I sit down and you know think about my career, my life. Mm. And I'm like, okay, what if at that moment I had the opportunity to be with those clubs? Would I have been able to reach the, the, the Juventus, certain level? The inter level yeah. Maybe yeah. it would have been different. Yeah. So sometimes God has his own ways of helping us. It's mm. all it's all about how you, the person, you want to, the determination that you have. Mm. If you really want to play, it might not be here. Mm. It, because football is not like all the players in the world came from one club. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many different clubs mm. that... If you don't make it here, you can make it somewhere else. Yeah. Some will come today, we might not pick them, but they might come in a year or two, they will be different players. Yeah. That's how players are, you get to develop. Mm. And sometimes those kind of uh, uh, difficulties mm. ne needs to help you and makes you know that, okay, 
you have a lot to do you mm. need to push yourself mm. okay this is what i like this is what i don't have mm. what can i do to improve so it those things should even help you to improve more to prove to yourself that okay i will show these people that i'm the best or i can do it mm. so rejection no means say uh, your career end be that no. All right, guys, me. Okay. Okay. Uh, could you let me ask you? <laughs> Why you <won't> play? <laughs> <laughs> so, could you, is Juve going to be the only feeder club for you guys? Or maybe if a club wants to put a player from here, he has the liberty to come and scout him and take him abroad? No, not just only Juventus. Okay. Mm. Yeah, different clubs. Different clubs. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's go a little bit personal, could you? You lost two Champions League finals. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you had to do this. <laughs> you will not be serious. You, <laughs> the first one you played against Barcelona mm -hmm. and you yeah. saw Messi life. Call it. How, how was the feeling like when you lost the first final? Because Essen has won it. Muntari yeah, has won yeah. it. You played two. Essen played two. Muntari played only one and won it. How was the feeling, <laughs> how was the feeling like yeah, when you sometimes lost Sometimes some things are not for you. For know, you. Uh -huh. oh. you, you might do so many things. Mm. You, you, of course. Every, every, every dream of a player like is to win the Champions the League, World Cup, yeah. those kind of things. Yes. Like, you know, and also winning the league is also very important. Yeah. Okay. Winning the Italian Cup. Oh, you won it, yeah. uh... <laughs> So it's like when you get to eat some food every day, yeah. and then you you feel like okay, I need to change you know, diet. And the, the excitement of okay, the, you felt about okay, this food is really nice. Mm. Like, people are talking, it's nice, and mm. you want to try it. But the moment you get there, it's finished. It's finished. You're not so. You'll be very disappointed, yeah. you know. But not, not once, mm. twice. Twice. Mm. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy because mm. winning Champions League, even winning the Champions League, will take you to Super Cup. Yes. And then it will take you to Club World, World Cup. Cup. Yes. So, there's a whole lot. Mm. So, not just losing the Champions League, you mm. lose a whole lot of things. Mm. Okay, could you, what's that one thing that Conte did for you that I feel like I'll never forget this thing that this man did for me? That's Antonio Conte. But I know you guys were that close. Your, your dad. Hey! <laughs> so, what? ACMB, Moreno, and Kojasa, and why is Conte? You know why I love Conte? He's yeah. animated. Yeah. 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 His fight with uh, no, the, I, I love him, man. The is, uh, uh, he's someone. Mm. He gives you that confidence. Mm. Yeah. And he's someone when you're on the field, you have to give 100%. Your every, more than 100%. Wow. Mm. Wow. He believes when you're on the field and you get to win 50 50 balls, mm. you're going to win the game. Mm. What makes him angry when you play and you don't give your, your all? Oh. You get to lose 50 50 balls. You mm. can lose that because you make, you make mistakes. Football, you cannot be perfect. That's why we always train. Yeah. You can make a pass, you can mm. lose a, a control. It's okay. Mm. But the mindset, the, the mindset. determination, mm. it's something that you get to lose it. You go mm. smart. Okay. Mm. And he is someone, trust me, he gives you more than 200%. You as a player. Mm. If I know you are playing here, you are not. You are my player. I give you the assurance. Mm. Do this, do that. You give you everything. Mm. And for him, the winning mentality that he gave us, it got to a time, even if you get to draw a game, it's like you've lost, lost it. it. Mm. Wow. You know? Wow. So wow. He, he, he really helped me mm. because I was able, I was a midfielder. Mm. I was. Uh, a, a, a midfielder, mm. probably more of attacking yeah, midfielder. Yeah. Mm. But when I played with, with him, I worked with him. He mm. got to change me. I became, Left you know, uh, utilized all the field. Yes. He got to a time I was able to play even at a defensive uh, area. Yes. Mm. When we played three back, I was able to left play. wing. Back, when it comes there. to mm. the left wing, I was able to play. Yes. When it comes to midfield, I was able to play. Yeah. So it was able to help me as a player. Yeah. And you know, yeah. most things that helps players that can play so many positions yeah. you have advantages. Yeah. Every coach needs players like that. Because yeah. in worst situations, yeah. he, he can count on you. Okay. Yeah. Could you my question? So um I, I know right now there is an academy side of things that you are handling, but football administration in this country. For technocrats, <laughs> people that wear suits, study football, and they go like, we know yeah. football. And there are former footballers that are trying to take the mantle of leading their country, like the Football Association. When it comes to the technocrats and the former footballers, when you go to um, Cameroon, they have Samuel Eto who has their president. Yeah. Here we have uh, Mr. Keto Kumanti. Taking these two different personalities, which people you they prefer see them for being in a position to handle football. football affairs in the country? 
for the former footballers and technocrats, people that have actually studied administration of football? Oh, I think um, uh, we should give more chance to, to the footballers. Former footballers. Football, you know, I, I, as I always say, mm. you might have the degree about so many things, mm. but things a footballer will know on the pitch, mm. outside the pitch, because he has been through, he has learned it, you know, he have that experience. Okay. So those kind of things, I'm not saying we should put all footballers at the GFA. Yeah. Probably their ideas, their experiences, because probably most of our people at the FA haven't been, you know, to Europe to experience mm. how football is run. Yeah. yeah. Maybe outside when it comes to some kind of you know football we have people that are good mm -hmm. in different ways yeah that's why when it comes to football we have the 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 the, the physios we have the doctors yes we have the media people mm. so you can't mix you, you can't be like okay this person knows uh, have been to school and mm. whilst he doesn't know anything about football mm. and i think if they give more chance because i there are people that want to be part, that mm. want to bring their experiences mm. to help the nation. But if you don't give them the chance, mm. you know, some might feel like, okay, they don't need me. Let me just sit where and then maybe with the kind of the whole exposure or experiences that the person have had in his career, mm. we'll just put it somewhere. Okay. Probably those experiences would have helped multiple of players. Has that been your situation where you yeah. feel like your talent is not uh, um, respected at a space? So you the say like... Is respected. Yeah, but your talent of understanding football, you 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 spoke to us about yeah. football not just being kicking the ball. No, no, no. It's, it goes beyond just yeah. that. You have experience, you have played in Europe. Yeah. So you bring your talent of that experience to, let's say, yes. the FA. Have yes. you been in a situation where you feel like, these people are not respecting my talent, let me just bounce out of here and, you know, concentrate on this academy. Too. For me, honestly, whatever that we are doing here, it's not just for me. Okay. It will come back and then be for, for, the, us, nation. for the nation. Okay. And I believe sometimes, you know, we can't depend on only on them. We can also start somewhere mm. and then make it better. Mm. If we get to have good academies, mm. good people, and then experience helping these kids to, to educate them. Because what I've experienced is, even for me, mm. when we used to have ex-players mm. advising us, I will listen to someone that is coming from the office. Okay. I will listen, but he is talking more about my job, mm. his kind of experiences, those things that he has passed through because he has he has been through. So when someone does what I always say, someone there's this tree uh, proof that he used to so we'll do a tea or whatever. Uh, okay. In tea or yeah. 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 yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you know when you get to experience something, you mm. can get to talk about it. Mm. This is something that we have experienced. Mm. So when you are advising, the boys, they listen they so listen well to, okay. because mm. they know the kind of it's level that you've been through, the yeah. mistakes that you did. Mm. Because when you are sharing your mistakes, it's your mistakes. Mm. You know what you are talking about. Mm. So those are the things that we need to at least encourage ourselves. Even mm. if we are not having opportunities somewhere at the GFA, we can also start something yeah. and then build it up. Yeah, You said um, this, this thing will bounce but it, the results of this yeah. will reflect nationally yeah. so do we have something like a partnership with the gfas and whatnot or is this this is just an individual project no this is just an individual project. okay but are you looking at some sort of partnership when it comes to them because oh, we have been a country where we've always argued that we are not paying attention to cold football academy football yeah. so for you to start something like this and scouting them from the scratch i think there should be like some level of conversation with yeah. them is yeah. there something i think like that? i think we should we should be doing more mm. with these academies yeah. because looking at the european teams mm. even the top class mm. when you talk about real madrid when mm. you talk about manchester you talk about Ju juventus you talk about roma you talk about napoli mm. all the clubs they have their first team but they still have the academies, the academies yeah. mostly they get some of their talents from mm. the academies yeah. You know, mm. so it's not just about always buying players or in, and then probably searching players from outside. Outside, yeah. You can groom your own players here. We can have a lot of facilities. That's why I always admire uh, Right to Dream yes. mm. because yes. they are doing things to help the kids. Mm. 100%. And imagine if we have, let's say, 20 of, of Right to Dreams. We can win the Is it expensive to run the facility? Honestly, you know, this one it was expensive. So, at the location okay. and then the, the facility. Mm. Because me, as a player, 
I put myself into whatever that we are doing. Mm. I want good f- uh, pictures. I want uh, I, I want uh, good uh, um, changing rooms for the kids. Mm. I want uh, um, um, uh, good things for the players. So mm. everything that we put in here, mm. I always put myself into it. It's not just because we are doing it for money. No, mm. whatever that I've put in here, I've not even gotten nothing from. Outside. This is about legacy for you. Yes, yeah, for me. Trust me, when I came to Ghana, there are other things that I was trying to do. Mm. I saw people were doing real estate. I started with hotels. It. I was going, I was going there, but you know the excitement, the the commitment wasn't like me coming here just to see what they are doing. You know, sometimes I would just be on the field watching their training, mm. just to you know see whatever that is happening. Mm. And if there's any advice that I have to give to any other boy, mm. I I do that because mm. they need that. Mm. I've experienced it. They need people that will encourage them. They need people that will support them. Mm. They need people that will sit to them and tell them in their face, this mm. is wrong, this is right. Mm. So I think uh, uh, this is just the beginning. Okay. And then we are going to do more. Okay. Uh, the coaches, those who go mm. and train the players, is there a special package or plan for them? Like maybe yes. courses outside and stuff like yes. that for them? Okay. Yes, we have courses for them. Mm. Okay. And if, if all the coaches that we have here, the focus is not even just to have them here uh, train the kids for a lot of years. Mm-hmm. We want them also to improve. Mm-hmm. We want them to also uh, achieve their dream. Because some of them are dreaming of becoming blaster coach. Some are, of them are dreaming of becoming kotoko or house coaches. Mm-hmm. And then their courses and everything will be on us. It, won't be, it wouldn't be on them. Mm-hmm. And every year, this is a situation whereby they will have the opportunity mm. to go to Juventus to learn for two, two, two weeks of uh, training course. Okay. Mm. So if you have a coach like that and you get to have him for three, four years, mm. probably you might change his life. Mm. He might not be uh, probably here in Ghana. He might be an assistant for maybe a foreign uh, yeah. club. Mm. So this is something that we are also doing to help the coach, the coaches. If we get to have something good for them in Europe in future, we will still groom another coaches and bring them out. Because yeah. you are mostly a very young coach here. What's that one advice that you give to me? Yes, or, or, <laughs> or, or, or he's an armchair pundit and a coach. He, he's with, uh, uh, what is your academy? Prestige Heights. Prestige Heights. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> But, 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 what I can, you know, in everything, mm-hmm. as a person, there's nothing you cannot do. Mm. You can do it. If you want to become a coach, just stay focused, learn the course, mm. give your all, give your everything. Because mm. if you get to do it, that definitely going to pay off. Mm. Mm. What's it? What's it? But so yeah, me, from here, uh, me, I know get picking. I will carry. I'm going. I want to enroll. Uh, so how do, I want to enroll in the academy the whole process. because yeah. I, if I challenge one, I know start no, yet. Yeah. Ah, I, know start. <laughs> I know start. So if I want, if it, like there are people are there, let, let's say like the people that want to pay for their kids to come here yeah. and experience this facility and train, how do they go? I mean, how do they? How are they supposed to do the it? Whole process, yeah. uh, we have uh, we have uh, um, uh, uh, our people. Okay. Whereby we ha- when you go to our website. Mm. Uh, which is the Juventus Academy, and yeah. we have the Smart Academy. Okay. And that one is being sponsored by the Italian uh, uh, Federation. Okay. So we have these two academies, whereby we have the uh, the, the numbers, we have our official website. So anything mm. that you want to ask of, mm. any question or anything, advice, mm. we have our people stand by to mm. answer uh, every question that anybody wants. So for the grassroots, do you move into the the spaces like that to organize matches or you just walk if you are on them how do you do the grassroots one the scouting yeah we have people that are doing the scouting even before when we started this whole thing mm-hmm. uh, to complete it i started uh, with uh, some people that went to takwa to mm. you know, uh, mm. and uh, this is not something that is going to finish now mm. we're still going to do it we even go outside Ghana mm. there are a few players that I've seen from uh, different countries that okay. want to bring them in okay you know so it's not just going to be in here in Ghana mm. we, because this work you need very strong uh, scouting team mm. because there are some players that might be in the villages you might not see them, see them. and sometimes you know some people call from outside mm. and here in Ghana you know everyone uh, is always saying oh my play- I have a player who is always with me I believe in that 
if you have a player, that is good. You bring the boy. Show work. Show work. Show work. <laughs> or we send our uh, our scouts to come. Okay. Is good. You yeah, okay. So we okay. always give it. Uh, those are open. So it's not about just calling to say, say I have a player. Yes. And, uh, okay. You yes. have to go through so the if process. You have, if you have a player, mm. okay. Where or oh, oh, his age? Mm. Where is the player playing? Mm. You get to tell us. Okay. We sit down with our scout. Mm. If the person is just around, we can invite him. Mm. Come train with us for two, three days to see mm. if he's good. He stays with us. Mm. If he's no good. Then he goes. Okay. The same as okay, someone will call probably from Obuasi. Okay. Whereby the kid cannot come here. Mm. Our scout will go there, watch their training, or probably arrange a game for them to play. So when they get to play a game, then you, you, you we can assess the player and okay, mm. he have a future. We can help him. We we'll bring him here and then groom him. Okay. The people that come here, let's say the people that you go to scout, and I am interested in this. I saw a video this morning where a player went to play for Justifier. He didn't have um, a well-fitted boot. <laughs> it was damaged. And an argument was made that if they are coming to scout him in this kind of boot, they will not you know, take him to anywhere. What are some of the stories, touching stories that and you have encountered? Yeah, people. I love me, even what, me myself. Yeah, yeah, what are some of the touching stories that you said, like, Charlie? And Krofu will come. <laughs> but there is hope that I have to go through this and take my people out of wherever I'm coming from. Yeah, Share so, some, like two. I just need two. You, you have a story and one that you uh, have encountered. Mm -hmm. we, we had one trial. Mm -hmm. And I went there. I went with a friend. Mm. My childhood friend. And then I had no football shoes. Mm. No jersey. So what I did, I... No football shoes. No jersey. No jersey. So I went with my... That time it was the... The shorts that you, you, you put on belt. Okay. And then I had, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, bro. And then I had uh, you know, uh, a shirt. Okay. It wasn't a t-shirt. It wasn't a jersey. It wasn't a, even a t-shirt like yours. It was the, a sh just a shirt with the buttons. The buttons. Oh, yeah. yeah, so of course cool. So back, no, <laughs> so back then, what they used to do is, before a coach will even start a trial, mm. they make you the line up. Line up. Mm. They go into the place. Your your dressing will even take you out. So hey. I was I was just dropped even with my dressing. Yeah. So they have dropped you uh, because of your dressing yeah, before. Because of my dressing. Oh, Without they didn't see inside for you. No 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 no, 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 And that's one problem. Uh, I hey. And even with that one, I got so disappointed. But don't you think it's harsh? And because even my friend that I went with was the one that was pushing me to come with because he knows I have the talent. Yeah, he knows good. I'm even better. Good. But the thing is, I had I had no things. I had no. Football shoes, but uh, but don't you think that is harsh? Because if you had the mo money to go and buy the jersey, you would have bought you, it. Yes. You would have bought the boot. Even you didn't here, have it. Even here, we experienced something like that. There was yeah. a boy that came here, mm -hmm. and then he was asking. Uh, he came to ask me, mm. "Oh, I don't have uh, boots." Boots. And because I've experienced that, you, I wasn't angry about it. Okay. I said, "Okay, what's your name?" He mentioned his name. I said, "Okay, since you don't have boots today, we will write your name." The, the, the trials is ongoing. It's mm. not just for today. So okay. we'll write your name for the next group, mm. which is coming in two days' time. Mm. So try and get a boot and come back again. Mm. He came the other time. He didn't bring a boot. Okay. And he didn't tell me he didn't have a boot again. He came here again. I said, ah, you are here again without a boot. He said, uh, I said, okay. What I did is, okay, let me get you my boot. I asked him, he said 42, not knowing he's 44. 40. <laughs> <Now that's two. laughs> so I couldn't give him my boots. So mm. I don't know what happened. I think uh, one of the boys mm. volunteered and gave his boots. So you people found way, a way for him for to him. actually yes. play yes. with a boot. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm find, saying. I wanted to find a way for him to train. That's what because I'm saying. Sometime that because of my experience, mm -hmm. maybe he might be good, but yes. he doesn't have it. That's the yes, that's what I'm saying. Hey, one non me argument to to the old <laughs> See, I feel like um, the coaches, they are still outmoded. Yeah. They, they will go with the traditional way of playing. Okay. Okay. That should no, no, no. change. Okay. That so should we change. wanted to give him a yeah. chance to see. Probably he has something. Mm. You know, Even if he doesn't have, yeah, you have played your part yeah. in not letting someone's dream and go to. And the thing to is, it doesn't take anything from you. Just give it. I've said it. Yeah, yeah. Mumfres, I encourage the coaches, yeah, those yeah. in the, the underground, the yeah. coach, coach of that, they should go out of those old-fashioned style of of coaching, like say umkuta buta, member as a member. They don't give you a chance. And they trim. The thing is, you know, I can't be the thing is. Here in Africa, it's difficult mm. to have like football chases and you know, probably it's expensive in Europe. You might not even get the quality, but you might still have something second grade, you know. Yes. Mm. 
those are the challenges that we are having as a uh, young players here. Mm -hmm. And that's why some people, when they see talents, they go in and support them with the little that they have. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Kojo, yeah, yeah, Ghanaians right, yeah. wanted to see you play in the EPO. And personally for me, mm. I, I feel bad you didn't play in the EPO. I know the rumors about Arsenal and Chelsea. What happened? These two clubs, which one did you almost join? Well, um, from with the Arsenal one was at the time when I was leaving from Udinese to Juventus. Mm. Because we played against them. Mm. Uh, I think it was a Champions League uh, uh, qualified. Okay. We played against them and yeah. they showed interest, interest after the game. Mm. But Mostly, what Udinese mostly get to do is they don't sell their players after two years. Okay. So maybe three or four years, they mm. allow you to go because they, they feel like you are now matured. Mm. So they can sell you for a bigger or higher price. Okay. So they made me stay for another one year. When I stayed for another one year, that was when uh, Juventus and other clubs came. Mm -hmm. And then I chose Juventus. When I was at Juventus, uh, I was there for almost, uh, I think, my third or fourth year. Mm. Uh, and that was when Chelsea came. Wow. Because I was there for that long and then the, the team really likes me. I did what I was supposed to do as a player. But professionally, you know, some players get to not go to training, mm. uh, probably do other things or stuff to mm. allow the team mm. uh, for him to go because I was under contract. Mm. And whatever that I wanted to do, or even if I have to move to Chelsea, it has to be in the proper way. Mm -hmm. So since Juventus was my home and I was happy there, later when they decided not to allow me to go, I said, okay, let me just stay here. They don't sell their players to Chelsea, Juventus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, Ajo, Mercury, Mercury, carry this conversation come to an end. Yeah. Could you, your, your last words to aspiring footballers out there, yeah. people that are looking up to you. I will have a personal one on with you about the Black Stars. To an Obeka star. <laughs> but today we are talking about Juventus yeah, Academy, yeah, so we'll yeah, focus yeah. on that. Yeah. But yes, I, I can see people playing in the background, the coaches yeah, yeah. training. Yeah. What what sell Juventus Academy to our audience, yes. to people watching us? Yes. What what are why are they supposed to come here? Why should people come to Juventus Academy? One thing I would say that they should come to Juventus Academy. They they have a lot of exposure mm. and even with so many and so much opportunities, not just for the players, yeah. even for the coaches. Mm. The thing is, they have packages whereby even sometimes most of the players will go out there to have that kind of experiences mm. with the first team encounter with some of the coaches, mm. with the physical coaches, mm. have that kind of experience and exposure at the stadium. Mm. And for a player, it really helps. Okay. It, it boosts you as a player. It mm. makes you feel like, okay, I can also become a first team player okay. if I work hard. Okay. You know, these are some of the advantages mm. that we can do. And for them, Everything, all the training that we are doing here, mm. it's not just about the coaching sitting down and coming with their own plans. Mm. Everything is being structured. Okay. Even kids that are from six years up to 17, they all have their kind of training that they are supposed mm. to go through. Mm. So it helps us. It helps me. It helps all the guys over here, the coaches, mm. so that we can help build the kills. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we we came here to visit our big brother Kojo Asamoa at the Juventus Academy. A lot of gems have been dropped, <laughs> and yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we do on Pro. So, um, subscribe to the channel and. Me, I'm coming back to enroll at Juventus Academy. Two Moses is here, my head fits now. <laughs> Man, I don't want to play football, I just want to be fit. Yes. That is what I want to do. So, um, thanks for uh, having us. Guys, we enjoy the content for Twitter. Could you the footballer? Could you the footballer? Could you the footballer? Make them choose one. Yeah. Choose one. They will choose him because they don't like me. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they don't like you. They don't like me. Can I Anyway, so thank you very much and thanks for having us. Oh, we appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Really